is to look at some practice questions. Okay, to practice the concepts.
to see whether these two triangles are similar. We are not told of any length, okay? We are not told of any angle values as well, right? We can only deduce the uh, uh, angles whether they are equal or not based on some properties that uh, is given in the uh, question itself, okay? So because of um, this, not this lack of information given, lack of values given, it is very difficult for us to draw out in the side by side orientation, okay? Unless we actually check through the properties first. Okay. So what is one property that we can identify such that two angles will be equal from this question? What can we identify? Let's say what do you think? Angle S T R and angle V T U. Angle S T R and then the other one is U V. Or U T V, okay. Uh -huh, they are equal because of vertically opposite angle. So maybe let's just write that down first. Okay. So uh, at the start, maybe we don't need to be too particular about the vertices yet because we don't really know um, whether the angles, uh, how, how are they actually equal yet. So we don't know how to arrange them yet. Okay. So we just need to identify the pair of equal angles. Then what is the next one that we can identify? Joshua, what do you think? SRT? Uh -huh. Sorry? RVU, okay? Uh, clearly the triangle can't be in RVU, so we should be TVU. Uh, okay? It doesn't matter, I understand. Uh, and then a property that we're applying is alternate angles, parallel lines, okay? And then after that, we also have a third one, okay? So it's up to you, right? On which one you want to take, okay? So this angle and this angle here is also due to alternate angles parallel lines that they are equal, right? So for a similarity test, we only need to take two. Now that we have identified all the uh, three different angles, how they are equal already, okay? We can just lay them out. Right, so maybe you can have P, S, R. So angle T is this one, so it will be equal to this angle T over here. Angle S is the triple line one, it should be a U here. And this one should be a B. Okay, so now we can map out the vertices very nicely, and then we write down our proof. Okay, so angle STR equals to angle UT. Because of vertically opposite angles. Then angle TRS is equal to angle TVU due to alternate angles, parallel lines. Okay, so as mentioned, we only need two, alright, and then we can conclude that the two triangles. Okay, 
so this three, these two angles are equal because of uh -huh. there are three angles related to parallel lines. We have alternate angles, okay, corresponding angles, and interior angles. So which one do you think it is? Corresponding angles, right? So uh, we write down the proof, okay. So the orientation of the two triangles will actually remain the same. Okay, we've got K, L, M here, and K, N, P. Okay, so therefore the proof will be angle L, K, M is equal to angle N, K, P, common angle. And then angle K, F, L, equals to angle KPN due to corresponding angles parallel lines.
all around, I see that some of you uh, might be a bit stuck, okay? And you're thinking of using uh, SSS similarity or SAS similarity. Okay, in this question, may I know what should we use to prove uh, the two triangles to be similar? What will you do? Uh, Jinya, what do you think? A is similarity. And the reason why we should use A is similarity is because okay, we are only given the length of sides for this particular triangle here. We are not given the length of sides for the other bigger triangle. So because we are not given the length of sides of the bigger triangle, there is no way for us to actually check for proportionality or the ratios between the two triangles at all. Okay? So that's why we have to follow on the AA similarity test. Okay? And to do the AA similarity test, we first identify that triangle, uh, sorry, angle BAC is the one in common between the two triangles. So we will have angle BAC to be equal to angle DAE because that is a common angle. Okay, then after that, AD is correspond. 
corresponding to the side of the smaller triangle AB, which is 6. And then after that, we take another complete pair, which is AE over AC. So we got 12 over 8. So we get this expression on this equation here, and then we first multiply the A.
Okay, so we turn this around and then we see that we got a 5 cm at shorter sides here. So we have to have the 7.5 cm here. Okay, then after the 8 cm is the longest, so we got to have the 12 cm side here. Okay, then the remaining one will have to be the 9 cm. Okay, then now we put in the vertices. So 7.5 and 9 cm in between that is Z. Okay. Between 12 and 9 cm is X, so we got X over here. And finally Y here. So that is how we arrange our vertices to ensure the accuracy in the correspondingness. Okay, if there's such a one. Then uh, now we find out what is the ratio. Okay. So we got AB corresponding to ZY which is 5 over 7.5 and that will be 2 over 3 then after that CAC over ZX so now my numerators are all from triangle ABC and then my denominators are all from triangle Z, ZYX Okay, so BC over YX will also be 2 over 3. So we check every single ratio okay, and find that they are all equal to each other. And that is uh, where we can then conclude triangle ABC is similar to triangle ZYX. Where we use SSS similarity tests. Okay. 